A new federal rule will now soon allow debt collectors to contact people not just by phone, but through emails and texts, even social media. KSL Consumer Investigator Matt Gephardt's live tonight with what debt collectors can do with your social media and what they cannot. Matt? Dave, actually, the last time debt collection rules saw any sort of an update was 44 years ago. That was decades before Facebook's first friend request, request or Twitter's first like. These changes reflect how people are now communicating. But if collectors are hounding you on social media, it sounds like maybe that's a little too invasive. Rest assured, they have limits. More than one out of every five Utahns has at least one debt that's in collections. If you're among them, you're probably used to getting phone calls and letters about those outstanding balances. But coming soon, collection agencies are going to be able to send you text messages, email you, and even direct message you through social media. It opens the doors of communication. Lacey Charrington has been in the debt collection business for 30 years. Her Provo-based company, the Charrington Firm, welcomes these changes from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And here's the thing. Collections is the backbone of a successful credit-based economy. And Businesses and government organizations, they truly, re truly rely on us to recover their bad debt. Charrington says the new rules do not give debt collectors free reign. Yes, they can now contact you through text and email, but not if they know the email is used for business. And messages have to be sent at a reasonable hour, just like phone calls. And while now a collector can chase you down through direct messaging on social media, they can't post messages for the public to see. For example, if you posted a pic of a brand new side-by-side, -side, a collector can't comment saying, hey, awesome ATV, but you owe us 3500 That's 18 months past due, you deadbeat. That's absolutely a, not a private communication. Regardless of how a debt collector contacts you, each message must have instructions on how to opt out of similar messages in the future. But Charrington cautions opting out could lead to bigger trouble. When a consumer attempts to cut off all communication, they often leave our hands tied, and therefore pushing us to file a suit as the only alternative to communicate. Now, these new debt collection rules set to take effect this coming November. Regulators already warning about scammers looking to exploit the big changes. So remember, a collector must tell you how much you owe and to whom you owe it. If they are not upfront with you about it, you should ask for that info before you, you respond to any out-of-the-blue messages. If you got a consumer issue you think needs to be investigated, let the KSL investigators know about it. The number, 385-707-6153, or you can email me, matt, at ksl.com.